In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, we are, and I'll share with you a touch of God's love as a short of reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Monday, 28th October, 2024, 30th week in ordinary time, Feast of Saints, Simon, and Jude Apostles. The readings are taken from Ephesians 2, 19-22. Psalm 18, 2 to 5, Luke 6, 12 to 16. The theme of the reflection is how to be a citizen of heaven. How to be a citizen of heaven. The first reading says, You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundations and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all go into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built into a house where God lives in the spirit. And the gospel says, Jesus went out into the hills to pray and he spent the whole night in prayer to God but when they came he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them he called them apostles Simon whom he called Peter and his brother Andrew James, John Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew Thomas, James son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then, he then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large garden of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also killed, and everyone in the everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that killed them all. Power came out of him that killed them all. Beloved, the first reading teaches us how we can be citizens of heaven. It says that as people who believe in Jesus, we are no longer strangers in heaven, but we are citizens of heaven, like all the saints. This implies a number of things. One, it implies that we are members of God's household, that is his church and his kingdom. So we have to be committed members of the church and the kingdom of God. Two, it implies that the apostles and prophets are our foundation and Christ Jesus our cornerstone. So we have to be aligned on them. That means we have to be like them. The apostles and prophets are like the cornerstone. Jesus is uh, prophetic. Now, that means Jesus has both the apostolic and prophetic in him as the cornerstone. He is prophetic because he was always praying. Through that, he was very close to his father. So he knew his father's will and the spirit of his father empowered him to speak and do his father's will. And so power flowed out of him that healed everyone. He was apostolic in the sense that he sacrificed himself to be a messenger of God to the highest degree possible for humans. Thus, he did not only do the Father's will, but do it to the highest degree of perfection possible. The twelve apostles are also apostles and prophets because they too offer themselves as sacrifices to God in the highest degree possible for a human being. 
So we build on that means we are called to sacrifice ourselves to be messengers of God as much as is possible for us. That is why the reading says that we too are aligned on them to grow into one holy temple. The gospel gives us an example of how Jesus tried to align the apostles on himself as both apostles and prophets. He introduced them to the prophetic by spending the whole night in prayer. Through this, they learned that a prophetic person is a person of prayer. Through prayer, a prophetic person stays close to God, speaking and doing God's will. And so power flows through him and heals others. Jesus stayed close to the Father to be able to know the people he would choose as prophets and uh, to demonstrate that his prophets through the power that flowed through him and healed the people. The more we pray, the more we become prophetic. Then he introduced them to the apostolic by asking them to follow him wherever he went. Thus, he asked them to sacrifice to be his first class messengers, his closest companions in his missionary journeys. We too are built on them because we are called to be messengers of Jesus as much as possible. The more we do this, the more we become apostolic. Since Simon and Jude proved themselves as apostles and prophets, tradition says, since Jude, a cousin of Jesus, preached the gospel in Syria, Mesopotamia, and Persia, and died as a martyr, the epistle uh, in the Bible, an epistle in the Bible is named after him. And, uh, which implies that he wrote that epistle, uh, possibly. He was a very powerful exorcist and uh, a healer who worked a lot of wonders. Tradition also says St. Simon preached the gospel in Egypt, Mesopotamia, and other places and died as a martyr. May they intercede for us to be committed citizens of heaven as they were. Dearly beloved in Christ, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be a, mem a committed member of the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, be apostolic and prophetic. In the name of Jesus, be a citizen of heaven. Amen. Can share God's love by sharing this message. Uh, by, by I share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. Psalm 113 says, Those who love and meditate on the word of God day and night are blessed. May this become a reality in your life. May Almighty God bless and protect you with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.